All right, it's time to get some stitches on this thing. Now, this leather is tough. This all here, actually, this pulled out. So what I did is I took some of this here. What is it? It's a Loctite Super Glue Gel Control, and I squirted some in. And push the blade back in so far it seems to to be holding but I'm not going to depend on it this all also I was using it to make those stitch holes this blade is coming loose this stuff is tough but still it's time to do some stitching so let's see if I can get this needle oh look at there I'm using a lot of thread <laughs> a bit too much but yeah I don't want to run out that would suck and it's very thick so I know I'm going to need uh, more thread than I think I'm going to need let's see now these holes are already punched through but basically, I'm just going to use the awl to open the holes a little bit so I can get the needles through. Because when it's this thick, the, the fibers really aren't able to push apart. Because there's a lot of leather there. A lot of really tough leather, too. So, I'm going to continue what I'm doing. And I shouldn't have done that all the way. Give a little bit of a loop there. And again, I'm taking the second needle and putting it on top of the first thread, which is going to be a bit of a challenge. So yeah, this is going to take a while. And also, i got to order a couple new awls. I don't trust these anymore. Because uh, <clears throat> they've already been damaged. There we go. Alright, it's through. I think I'm going to need these things. Kind of a cloudy, dreary, cool day today. And I've actually already serviced our heater. Seems like summer's over already. That sucks because if y'all watch my videos, you know, I really like summer. Anyway, I'm going to keep stitching. Like I said, it's going to take a while. And uh, we'll come back and see how I'm doing. That took a while. But <laughs> I'm off of this part. And I'm down here, and what I've done is I've gone through with my awl, and I've wallered out the holes a bit. So, the stitching on this part is going a lot smoother. But I kept my awl out, and my flat nose, needle nose pliers, with a smooth jaw so it doesn't damage my needles. Keep those handy in case I need them. Oopsie. Yeah, no, I got turned around, but I want to point it up at me. So when I get around to the end, I can reach it a little easier. And um, I can do my regular stitching here. Which is kind of a relief. And the way I do that is I go through the hole. There's the next hole there, yeah. Second needle goes on top. 
and then I pull these threads away because I'm stitching toward myself. And then the second needle goes under the first thread. Give it a little tug, make sure I didn't pierce the thread. Drape my threads and then pull it on through. We do that again. It goes through the hole. Second needle goes on top. Pull the threads back. That goes under the first thread. Give it a tug. And while the needle is in the in the leather, go ahead and drape my threads. Oopsie. Pull that on through. Because again, I've said this in other videos, the idea is either the needles are in your hands or they're in the leather. See? It's in the leather. And in this one, I've got both needles in one hand. Needles in the leather. And it's back in my hand. It's a more efficient way of stitching. I've seen some people They'll take, they'll put the needle through, and they'll pull it all the way through and let it drop. Take the next one, push it through, let it drop, and they're constantly picking up their needles. But all you gotta do is just keep them in your hands. Oh, and when I was punching the stitch holes, like I said, I broke two walls on this thing. But there weren't no way I was going to uh, drill holes. That is a big peeve of mine. I don't like the idea of removing leather and weakening the stitch line just to make it a little bit more convenient. I've seen some people, they do beautiful work. They, carve, they, they do beautiful carving and die work and edge work but they got drilled stitch holes and that kind of ruins it for me anyway like I said before I'm going to keep going and if I ever get this done we'll be back and check it out okay that's all the stitching done then and I cut the end of the threads off and left about that much standing up. Take my lighter and I'm going to go ahead and burn those but tilt the uh, leather away so I don't scorch it. And there you go. Now let's see how the knife fits. You can see there's that's the shape of it, and that's how the knife's going to fit in. Okay, it's snug. But that's the way you want it. Knife fits in. Oh, geez. Let me back this up a little bit. Knife fits in nice and cleanly. And this strap will come across here. And that'll be the retainer for the knife. I still got to punch the hole and then after I get the pu hole punched I'm gonna go ahead and finish that end and then do all the finish work on the leather. But um, the real pain in the rump parts done and that was doing the stitching. Like I said it wrecked two holes to get those stitch, stitch holes done. But now that's it. And that's how the knife just slips right in. And uh, we'll be back when I get some more work done on this thing. See you then.